Good morning everybody. How are you all on this wet Monday morning? So we've got a little package to open. Let's do this while I'm talking. So this is another item that I've got in readiness for getting ready for um, my everything attempt this coming weekend. So here we've got, when it focuses, a road link, so a wolf tooth components road link. Um, so Floydy, on my last unpacking video, you'd recommended one of these and I think we'd had a bit of a conversation, hadn't we? And you'd said how easy these were to, to change. Now, I did go ahead and buy one. I was considering buying one of these when I ordered the GS cage, the medium cage rear mechanism, because obviously this is simpler, easier to install, etc. However, when you look at the compatibility from the wool tooth, wolf can't get my words out, the Wolf Tooth Components website. The compatibility, and I'll read it off, it says 11 speed cassette compatibility, 11 to 34, single. For double chain ring, be sure to not exceed the derailleur's capacity. So that's to do with um, chain length. So I thought to be on the safe side, I'll get a medium. Now, I can do it so that um, if it if it copes with 32, 34, and 34, so 32 at the back, 36 at the front. If I drop it to 34 and then go to 34, that's still a two tooth difference. So it should cope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and I'm going to fit this first and see how it fares. And I'm going to get the SL ready. My first job is to wash the Advanced Pro, because I need to do that, clean the chain, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to use the wheels off the Advanced Pro. I'm going to fit those, fit the cassette. We'll fit this, and then we'll see if it works. If it works, I will then leave this on the um, TCR SL, and I'll fit the medium cage to the Advanced Pro. So I've got both bikes ready and all I'll have to do is just swap wheel sets over. And the reason for doing that is because I can't get my mud guards to fit very easily onto the SL. And I know it already is set up to fit onto the Advanced Pro. So my aim is to take both bikes with me. If it's dry, I'll use the SL. If it starts raining, I'll swap over and go to the Advanced Pro. And all I'll have to do is just swap wheel sets over. So that's my plan. So when I see you next, we'll be starting to get bikes ready, get the SL ready and such like. So I'll see you later. Right, so afternoon. How are you? So I've cleaned the orange TCR. That's the Advanced Pro at the back. We've got the TCR SL. I've fitted the 34 to 11. 11 speed cassette, cleaned everything, cleaned the chain off the advanced pro. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the wheels, get the advanced pro down from the stand and put the wheels in that from the TCR SL. So the Ciro RC50s are going to go in the orange one. And the AR30s, the aluminium braking surface, is going to go on the SL and then I've got some brand new and I've had these a while I, I bought these last year some new Swiss stop pads brake pads that I'm gonna fit these are the flash flash pro BXP for aluminium rims so they're gonna go onto the SL swap the chain set and then I'm going to fit the road link and then we're going to see how it all works. So I'll come back when I'm a bit further on. There we go, I've just moved position. Just because the lighting's better at this end and you'll be able to get a, a better view of what I'm doing. So I'll just repeat what I was doing. So swap the wheels as you can see over to the SL. I've fitted those new brake blocks. 
recentered them on the rim on this this bike uh, done all that positioned them correctly left and right because this width diameter of these rims are different than the carbon rims these are thinner because they're older wheels 34 cassettes on and if I try and move the mechanism across it will go onto the 30 but it won't go onto the 34 without the top jockey wheel rubbing so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and we're going to fit the road link and I'm going to measure there's a little lip which we're going to measure to make sure it is compatible so let's get that off We go. So that's the little bit we've got to measure is how far this sticks down and I think the, me the, the measurement is um, 8.9, sorry 7.9 So Vernio calipers, zero of them So we're on 8.93, so it might not work, let's try it, we might have to fit the other mechanism. So there we go, so we've got a new little bit that's the where the mechanism goes and then this goes onto the top already. Yeah, it will work. It does fit. So we're meant to do that up to 8 to 10 Newton meters. So if I put it uh, that bottoms out, you can see the chain is too slack. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the chain's hanging down. So we need it not there. We need it more like that. So of course now it works, but it would, wouldn't it? So we've got quite a big gap now between the sprockets and the top jockey wheel. I'm sure it works, it's just I'm not sure that I'm going to be happy with that. Right, next thing I'm going to do is change the front chain set and I'm going to swap and put the 5034 chain set on because that's my next job. Right, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Change the crank set, put on the 5034. This is the R8000 172 and a half mil cranks. Torque that to 8 newton meters. The setting for this is 8 to 10. I don't want to strip the threads on my gear hanger, so I've done 8. 
I've not adjusted the front mechanism down yet. It still works, but I've not done it yet. And I've torqued up the pinch bolts on the left crank arm to 12 newton meters. Back this down to two, and we'll have a look at how it works, how it shifts. So, that's obviously on 34, 34. Obviously, the chain is sagging an awful lot in that position, but I'm not going to be running like that, am I? I'm not going to be running like that either on this instance. I'm either going to be in big ring towards the bottom or little ring, little ring. So that seems to work, doesn't it? That doesn't seem to be too bad. And then, of course, I can just go straight back without having to reset the rear mechanism. So I was just talking to Cam, and the battery went flat, so it shut off. So all done pretty much. Can't move the front mechanism down anymore. Because the little metal plate that's stuck on at the back is stuck on a bit too high up. So I've done that, reset that, and it works. I could be testing it on the road, really. Um, we're probably going to run it like this, rather than fitting the medium cage mechanism. Because if I fit this to anything, I probably want to fit that to the SL. Sorry, not this is the SL, the Advanced Pro. Um, but I haven't decided yet, I need to run it and see. But that would do the same job, because of course then, that is the link on here. And then there's a couple of other little jobs that I want to do. I want to fit a light bracket, that's the light bracket that comes with it to go around the integrated seat post, so that I can fit a rear light. And I need to change my GoPro mount to a different model, so that I can recharge my Garmin on the go. So those are a couple of other little jobs that I'll do. Um, yeah, I need to have a think about whether I'm going to run with that or that. It works though, so why mess around changing mechanism and cables and don't want to have to re-cable it because that's a pain. I haven't got magnets with me or anything like that up here if I have to run a new cable through. So I'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one later in the week. Maybe tomorrow.